Hello, it's Nilo. Right, I am going to let you guys watch our kill of June Rock Heroic and also explain a little bit to uh, show you what's going on, what we're doing. Um, firstly, we set up markers in each of the corners where the conductive pools appear as it makes it a bit easier for everyone to just gather around. And we work in a clockwise direction uh, around the room. So in this case, the blue, the red marker on the right hand side of the screen, purple on the other side and green on the left. Um, there are three things to know about June Rock Heroic. Firstly, if you know him on normal, you're pretty much halfway there to take him down already because the tactics are the same, it's just the abilities are a little bit different. One extra ability and the other one is much harder. The first thing to know really is that he hits like a proverbial truck. He really does. He absolutely ruins you if you get in his way. The second thing to learn know about is ionization. Oh, ionization is a magic debuff. It is a magic effect that you get on your character. Um, it lasts, I believe, 27 seconds. And when it uh, pops, it deals 450,000 damage in an 8-yard radius. Now, this is mitigated, of course, by any absorption you have. So, on my druid, uh, personally, it tends to only do around about 170 to 250,000 damage. Uh, so, you can see it's on me now. I've got a uh, debuff, um, my debuff bars. I'm staying in the pool because I know that no one will de um, uh, dispel it off of me. Uh, I know that the healers know that I'm smart enough to wait until it's only got a few seconds left and uh, hit a sprint and just leg it the hell out and let it come off safely. So here we go. Off I go towards an edge. Um, it doesn't drop anything on the ground so you can just, as long as there's no one near you, pop a personal cooldown and it only hit for 176,000 damage. Uh, the third thing to watch out for is this, Lightning Storm. If you can perfect Lightning Storm, you can kill this boss. Lightning Storm is the hardest part and you will see right here that I actually get myself killed by it. Um, I was a little bit mystified because actually I didn't get hit by an orb. It was the AOE damage that he does that killed me. Um, it might have been my own fault. I think I was probably too far away for a healer to get me. So that was my own fault there and I, I mucked up. Um, but yeah, he does do 55,000 um, nature damage every second during that phase. But all you have to do is dodge those orbs, protect yourself, pop cooldowns, anything you can. Um, sometimes it is possible to fling a few spells that depends entirely on your confidence and I believe that as a healer this is probably the hardest uh, phase because not only have you got to avoid the um, uh, the orbs floating around but you also have to heal everyone up I can imagine is a very difficult task I wouldn't know I'm not a healer. The, uh, finally there's uh, just a couple of hints and tips for you uh, firstly the focus lightning that comes onto you, you need to leg it if you get that. If you get focus lightning, leg it towards one of the grates in um, the far edges of this um, particular arena. There's plenty of space, so just take it. You can see just ahead of me there, there's a grate. Drop it in there, and that should guard the rest of the raid um, from uh, get taking damage. It also just means that when the conductive pool expands it won't pick up the uh, the sparks that are floating around you can see just on the right of my character there and uh, deal damage to people who are standing in the pool. Uh, then another tip is at the start of the fight it's very tempting at the very beginning of the fight to burn off all your cooldowns. I personally prefer to actually wait until the first conductive pool is up as in that pool, you get 40% increased damage. Sure, you take more damage, but you get a lot more damage to deal. And coupled up with your cooldowns, that's a huge percentage, and it seems rude not to use it. So save your big, bursty damage cooldowns for that particular phase. So here we go. I've got uh, Focus Lightning, and you'll see me take it over onto this grate and just drop it. I'll pop some personal cooldowns just to mitigate some of that damage and give the uh, healers a bit of a hand. And I get straight over into the pool and start dotting up the boss. As far as the tank is concerned, they want to be keeping an eye out for a debuff that is called Static Wound. And I believe that every time... Ah, look at that damage. Um, I believe that every time they get a Static Wound, they need to swap to the other tank. So they need to do a Torn Swap and, uh, and continue as normal. So again, you see I get Ionization here. The debuff is ticking down. And when it gets to below 10 seconds, I start making the decision to... Uh, Move out of the conductive water because otherwise anyone who's standing in it will get killed. Um, you also, obviously, you still have to keep an eye out for anyone nearby you. Uh, if you've got deadly boss mods, it will give you a radar um, to indicate where uh, who's near to you. 
Uh, so, to summarise, the three things you must remember about this fight, the tactics are the same, the boss just hits a lot harder, and the two abilities are the different, which is Ionization, which you've just seen, and Lightning Storm, which you are currently witnessing right now. As you can see, I handled it a lot better this time, I barely get an orb come and touch me, um, so... Yeah, it was. Uh, this was a fairly successful kill. Um, well, I had one all hit me there, but it didn't hit me for a huge amount. So you can survive one hit, maybe two at the tops. Just try not to make the healer's job a lot harder. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. So thank you again for watching, and uh, ta for now.